Namaskar from Kobal Blue. Why are we saying Namaskar today, Ruchi? Uh, we are faced with this pandemic called coronavirus and apparently it spreads by touching. And ancient method of greeting Namaskar could be one of the ways of protecting yourself. But today's video is not about how to protect yourself from coronavirus. It is about how to deal with the stress that the news of this pandemic can cause. We are going to talk about the mental health issues related to coronavirus. In psychology, there is a concept called fight and flight mode that gets triggered when the mind is faced with a threat. The threat could be real, imaginary or abstract. There are few symptoms of fight or flight mode when it occurs in your body. Breathlessness, palpitations, racing heart, sweaty palms, lack of sleep or sleep disorders are some of the symptoms of fight and flight mode. If you are experiencing some of these symptoms, it's okay. Everybody does it. But a prolonged uh, uh, session of these symptoms is not healthy for your mind and can lead to anxiety disorders and depression. So today we are going to share some quick tips how to deal with these difficult times that lie ahead of us. How to take care of yourself and your children as well. The most important thing is to really really take care of the mental health right now. The first and the most important point is do not believe in rumors. Do not believe in the information coming to your WhatsApp, Facebook or other social media group or your friends until you have checked the source of that information. I recommend you only believe the source of information coming from World Health Organization and everything else just disregard it as a rumor. The second most important point is to express. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, in times like these, uh, we tend to get so much of anxiety and feelings get bottled up and built up inside us. The most important thing right now is to express that fear or anxiety to your near and dear ones. A lot of us who are adults can still deal with uh, yeah. stresses like that, uh, you know, after a certain practice. But there are some who are most vulnerable in these times and those are our children. Yes. I truly believe that one must talk to their children every day and check their thoughts and uh, figure out if they are, they are feeling anxious about it because they are probably not uh, able to express exactly what they are feeling and you know the schools getting shut and they are yeah, being so they stopped have so many questions you know from going to playgrounds and all that yes. so they might have many questions which which might uh, 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 they might be getting wrong information about it and leading to a certain amount of anxiety in them as well talk to them okay check their thoughts and if you suspect that they have negative feelings uh, try to turn those negative feelings into yes. positive feelings Tell them positive stories about coronavirus. So the fourth very important point here is to de-stress yourself. Uh, and it is very important for a person to stay stress-free to function better. Especially in these difficult times, it's very important to remove any stresses that you have. We will be sharing another video where we will be sharing five points on how to keep a stress-free environment at home. Um, but you can start with listening to some good music, listening to some motivational good speakers and thirdly meditating. There are people who are uh, staying away from home and who are living alone uh, uh, you know and those people uh, are also much more vulnerable. vulnerable to mental health issues in these times. Talk to your parents because they are worried about you. Talk to your friends, your brothers and sisters. This could be the right time to make that video call that you have been avoiding to your mother. The way uh, things are going, you might have to isolate yourself and go into a self-quarantine and this could mean that you will have to find activities and ways 
to still keep that social connect you know because um, we are you know social people and we need that contact so it could be a very good time to kind of still be social but through social media through the phone calls the video calls the sixth and the most important point again is the news <laughs> you know they survive on fear mongering and uh, uh, more than uh, giving you right information they are always as always uh, are in the business of exploiting your fears mm-hmm. one of the best way to do uh, to protect yourself from that negative uh, news uh, is to self monitor your news intake yes. uh, decide a certain time and a certain amount of news that you want to take uh, from the television or from any other sources about coronavirus uh, do not stay hooked to a uh, news channel because that will lead to unnecessary anxiety and stress and trust me most of the information is not even correct um, so so limit your time with the news channels uh, social media twitter or facebook uh, wherever your news source is and uh, focus your energy on more positive stories stories like where patients have recovered from coronavirus and uh, stories where people have helped each other in uh, in this recoveries so uh, i think uh, the way i'm looking at it and you know we we say that the difficult times lie ahead of us but the way i'm looking at it it's a very good time to kind of slow down you know relax and in case the offices also shut and the schools shut it's a good idea to spend that quality time at home uh, as i always say uh, that uh, you can always alter your perception and find something positive in every negative this situation could be a situation where you might want to slow down look at your life look at the cloud moving or the sun shining or the smile of your children maybe write a book make a painting record something positive sing a song you know uh, so take this this time uh, as a time given to you uh, by nature to reflect upon your life so in the end uh, all we want to say is that stay connected stay well informed stay safe and stay creative and as it is said in, in gita this too shall pass